I'm excited. <laughs> um, it's been a hard seven months. An effort by the city to shut down transitional houses for addicts comes to an end, and the houses will stay open. Good evening, everybody. After a seven-month battle with the city, a group of sober living houses in Price Hill will remain open. But the houses permitted to stay open do have some restrictions. It was a story you saw first on Local 12 News. Anjanette Levy joins us now with the agreement and what it means for everyone. Anjanette. Well, Kimmy, to remain open, New Foundations Transitional Living had to agree to not open a recovery house at a property the company owns on Rutledge Avenue. And the organiz organization rather, has agreed it will not open any more houses in East and West Price Hill. I'm excited. <laughs> um, it's been a hard seven months. Jason Lee Overby is the director of New Foundations Transitional Living. He says the agreement with the city that allows the houses to stay open is a win for the company and recovering addicts. Price Hill did win by us staying open because we're a part of the solution to this epidemic and not a part of the problem. New foundations had to reduce the number of people living in its homes. The city wanted to shut down the houses, claiming they violated zoning code. Some Price Hill residents feared the houses would bring down property values. There is somewhat disappointment because essentially what now is pretty much said is that transitional housing is allowed in residential communities and res on residential streets and it doesn't seem that the city can do anything to shut them down all the way. Supporters of new foundations held rallies hoping to convince the city to let the houses stay open. They said the houses filled a need, offering recovering addicts affordable housing as they got their lives back together. Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley led the charge on the effort to shut down new foundations. Cranley says there are too many of these recovery houses operating in the city. But I think big picture, we need, to, we need state uh, regulation so that you can't just wake up one day and decide you're going to open up a group home uh, in the city. Meanwhile, Jason Lee Overby says he's going to continue to help recovering addicts, even if he can house fewer of them. I know that since day one, I've been dedicated to the residents and our mission, and now we can completely focus on that again, and that's what I'm excited about. While new foundations will not open any more houses in East or West Price Hill, the company is looking at opening other houses in other neighborhoods in the city. Reporting from the newsroom, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Cammie? All right, Anjanette, thank you. New foundations argued that the people living in their homes were living together as a family and that they were being discriminated against based on federal fair housing laws. Amanda